then of course we need to deal with Lichtenstein. When American pop art artist Roy Lichtenstein painted Look Mickey in 1961, it set a tone for his career. This primary color portrait of the cartoon mouse introduced his detached and deadpan style at a time when introspective abstract expressionism reigned. And he will mine material from advertisements, comics, and the everyday. He brought what was then a great taboo, commercial art, into the gallery. He also will stress the artificiality of his images by painting them as though they'd come from a commercial press with the flat, single-color, bende dots of the newspaper meticulously rendered by hand using paint and stencils. Later in his career, he extended his source material to art history. But first, we're going to deal with Wham! Now, this piece is based on an image from All American Men of War, published in DC Comics in 1962. And here we see the original image. And he's, of course, altered it to some degree. He's changed the aircraft, he's changed some of the composition, but is more or less the same. Throughout the 1960s, he frequently drew on commercial art sources, such as comic images or advertisements. Attracted by the way highly emotional subject matter could be depicted using detached techniques. In other words, he wants to use the simplistic techniques that we get in advertising and commercial art and comic books. And he wants to use that to get at deeper truths, to get at more emotion. Really, he wants to use very concrete forms, forms that we are not going to be put off by. And he wants to use them to get at the same deep intellectual concepts that we will see from abstract expressionism. Transferring this to a painting context, he could present powerfully charged scenes in an impersonal manner, leaving the viewer to decipher the meaning for themselves. Basically, the meaning is entirely left up to us. Yes, it says something. Yes, there are words. Yes, there are concrete elements, but those elements will speak to everyone differently. So just like with abstract expressionism, where they're trying to draw an idea or an emotion out of the viewer, he's doing exactly the same thing. He's trying to force you to provide the interpretation. And in doing so, look into your subconscious and your unconscious.